right, ladies and gentlemen, I am Draco Thubin. Let's play something. This will be episode two of The Dig. Uh, we saw the intro last episode, and now we're going to start uh, our mission. I guess we're going to try to blow up uh, a, a Attila, the asteroid over here. But let's, uh, let's talk to some people first. So now you'll see Go if we click on Come people, in, we get break here. little pictures now. Instead of asking actual questions, we just get generic things. It's kind of weird. Everything okay with the pig? Everything's fine as far as I can see, Commander. Miles can tell you more than I can. Low out. Okay, there's the tool chest, the flying pig. We also have this thing here, the penultimate. We've got it's a little PDA, and we can uh, talk to Miles. Where's Miles? Where's Miles? Miles, this is low. Do you read? Yeah, 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 Boston. I'm on you. You, you wish. wish. In, In your, your dreams. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the deployment of the free fall tool chest. Is the crew clear of the area? clear. Proceed. This is a very atmospheric game. Um, it's not funny like, uh... Everything fine with the pig, Cora? Monkey Looking Island. Sweet Boston. But, uh... You just be good to my baby. It's a good game. Good point of click. Okay, let's take the flying pig over to the, uh, landing site. Load a landing team. I'm taking the pig down to the surface. Follow me. You be good to my baby, Boston, you hear me? We'll be back soon, Cora. Try not to miss me too much. Blow out. There's a lot of text options in this. I'm not going to go through them all. Um, not at this point. At the beginning, there's not a whole lot that they really have to say, and it just takes a while. and uh, zero G digger and a shovel so let's go out to space okay we got four quadrants uh, two of them we are putting charges on let's go to quadrant three first use a lever on that big rock. Cora, Ken, I'm jamming the shovel in under the boulder, then using maximum down thrust to pry it up. Does that sound workable? Well, I'm a little short on data about the tensile strength of shovel handles and zero G under maximum thrust conditions. In other words, who knows, it might work. Boss, be careful. That's a uh, glowing the endorsement breaks, there. Maximum down thrust will smash you right into Attila. You know the saying, whether the stone hits the glass or the glass hits the stone, it ain't gonna hurt the stone. Thanks for the encouragement. That's, that's the saying? Frank, if this actually works, the boulder's going to come flying straight at you. Better fly clear. Thanks for the warning. Looks like it worked. Now, aren't you glad I made sure the tool chest had a shovel in it? My rule is, if you can pick it up, take it with you, because you never know when you might need it. I have the same rule, Cora, but I thought it only applied to women in bars. <laughs> you can pick her up. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Ken. You don't want to find yourself getting quoted as a sexist pig in Maggie's article. A 
I'm not here to spy on you. No, oh, ha, ha, she's an outcast. <laughs> if they thought you were really a spy, they'd never talk freely on the open frequency. Okay, now we've got a place to plant some explosives. Placing charge one on target site. Negative, negative, boss. It's beta charge that goes there in quadrant three. Oh. I hear you, Ken, I hear you. We rehearsed this thing a hundred times and I still managed to blow it. Yep, yep, you do. That's why you still need us up here, hero man. That would have been a catastrophic error, Commander Lo. I noticed you didn't catch the mistake either, Brink. Oh. I didn't think I had to check up on the commander of the mission. Ooh. Everybody checks on everybody, Brink. But don't worry, I'm sure Robbins will write a whole article on my bonehead mistake. See what I mean? Like these conversations. It's all a mistake. Take forever. I didn't notice it either, Commander. And it was caught in time. That means the system worked. Okay, so let me plant the other freaking explosive. Jeez. Okay, so it's beta explosive goes here. Shuttle, this is low. Now placing the explosive on the face of the asteroid in quadrant three. Hey, acknowledged. Could you give me a hand with this, Brink? Of course, Commander. Of course, Commander. Okay, and the explosive is there, and we gotta activate it's it. It's explosive device beta. We go and use the key to arm it. Look at the pretty red light, boys and girls. I'd say this charge is armed. So now let's go back out to space! Uh, quadrant 4? There's quadrant 2, I think I need to plant the next one in, but let's go check out quadrant 4. Oh no, you know what? It's not gonna do much problems. I will be coming here later though. Should be quadrant two. Let's go to quadrant two. And target surface. It's where explosive alpha should be placed. Okay, well let's place explosive alpha. The ground's too rough to attach the charge. Oh, you should have said that in the first place. Well, I guess we're gonna have to dig it. Let's see if we can clear up old Attila's complexion. <laughs> nice and smooth now. Okay. Shuttle, this is low. We're placing the explosive in quadrant two. Hey, acknowledged. I need another hand here, Brink. I'll be right there, oh, come on, Hello. I forgot. Hold on a second. Not like anybody's on right now. Anyway, but just in case, let me get my chat up. Uh-huh. Not like anybody's on right now. Anyway, but just in case, let me get my chat out. Semper Fidelis is the motto of the Marine Corps. It means always faithful. No, it's, it's always faithful to country and always faithful to Corps. When you join the Marine Corps, you're picking up the torch and you are stepping into the boots of the people who have laid the groundwork okay. of this country. Okay, we got my chat up. Just in case anybody wants to say anything. Okay. Let's plant this explosive, get it armed, and then uh, blow Attila to freaking bits. Excellent or something work, like Rick. that, I guess. Ken, the charge is set. Instruments confirm. Hey, I'm just so proud of you boys. Okay. This asteroid has a pair of landing lights now, kids. Stick a fork in us, we're done. 
Who writes your material, Commander? Yeah, really. I get it all out of the newspapers, <clears throat> Robbins. Oh, who we'll get it? Cause she's writes for the newspapers. It's funny. Okay, so now I think we gotta call Knucklehead on the phone here. Let's talk to Borden. I think he's Motor our Do you copy? My carbon paper, boss. Ah. Both nukes are in place and armed. We made pretty good time, I think. Come on back home and we'll celebrate with a banquet of food in the tube. Okay. Well, let's do that then. Blow out. Let's head back to the shuttle and watch Attila do the old fire dance. Sure. I'm here, boss. Both nukes are in place and armed. We made pretty good time, I think. Looks good, boss. Come on back inside for the fireworks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. Confirm everybody inside. Now we get a ball in, Cora. All clear payload. All clear, landing team. All clear, shuttle. Confirm doors closed. Doors closed. Quick game. We, we're here to save her, so we're here to blow out the asteroid, and then about to blow up the asteroid. So I guess pretty, pretty easy. Boom. Now let's go, landing team. Let's see what Attila looks like after plastic surgery. So what did that do? Be careful, kids. Attila is more dangerous now than before Whatever. we tamed him. Those were certainly profound first words to speak on Earth's new moon. Oh, that's right. They're turning into I'm not turning making into speeches, Robbins. I'm concerned about keeping everybody alive. I forgot about that. Come on, the I can stopping collect more samples crashing. later. Right now, I would like to get below the surface, down into that tunnel. Yeah, there's a tunnel. We're gonna do it eventually. We might as well do it now. You agree, Robbins? I'm game for it. I've called the pig. We'll send it on ahead to light the way. Good idea. Remember, any rock may be loose, and any wall may collapse at any time. Please be careful, everyone. Way to be a positive Cora, thinker send there. Send the pig, please. We'll need the light. Hmm. Old, but not as old as the asteroid. 
Well, what does that mean? Yeah. I don't know yet. He... It just feels unnatural. Whatever. There are some odd projections near the bottom of this tunnel that don't seem to belong here. Okay. Odd projection. I think you're right, Brink. The stone projection is unnatural. Yes, but what is it doing here? Brink, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. Do something about them. Like, I don't know. Wait, metallic plate. Look at this, Brink. This can't be natural. Definitely not. A metal plate. Definitely an artifact. An artifact? But who could have put something like this in a tunnel? Yes, yes. I think it's clear. Wherever Attila came from, there was someone there. Could this be part of some kind of message? Like the one NASA put in Voyager. If it's a message, I don't understand it. Whatever it is, we've got to tell Houston well, immediately. Yeah, you just found it. Obviously, you don't understand Negative, it. Negative, Robbins. I'm clamping down total security as of this moment. You've got to be kidding. You've been telling me all along you just want to be an ordinary member of the mission. I've had secret orders all along to look for any sign of alien presence on this uh -oh. rock. Secret and now that orders. we've found it, my instructions are clear. And what I want to hear from both of you right now is I understand, Commander Lowe. I understand and agree, Commander Lowe. There is nothing to be gained from a premature announcement. Robert. I understand, Commander Lowe. Ken. Ken, Lowe here. I read you, boss. Tell Houston that I said Attila's a real hunt. What? Is that some kind of joke? Just tell them, Gordon. You'll receive new communication protocols immediately afterward. Oh, cool. This is like a secret code. Just thank Cora. You're the only one in Congress who knows anything about this. Houston says the message is received and they're transmitting new codes. Already. We're getting back uh, to work down here, Ken. Low out. This is it for now. Uh, I'm going to be coming back push. a little bit later. If that doesn't work, Commander. Sign off for now.